Yes, yeah, very good evening to you guys. Welcome to tonight's live stream smartphone quiz. I'm your host, John O'Connor. Very good evening to you. Okay, so while teams are still connecting up and getting ready to play, I'm going to be giving you a quick rundown on how it is we play this quiz. Make sure you have plenty of snacks and drinks around you. We're going to be here for about an hour and 15 minutes tonight. It's a general knowledge quiz. And uh, across the board, we've all types of questions from sport, music, movies, geography, all the usual bits and bobs. We'll begin in about seven minutes or so. I know there's still more teams connecting, which is great. If it is your first time playing, we hope you enjoy it. Uh, this is a great way to pass the time and we could do it more of these style of things. Quarantine quiz, as it's called tonight. Thanks to uh, Derek Delaney for organizing tonight's events for Port Law, GAA and Camogie Club. And thank you very much for your contribution and paying your fees going towards the club. Uh, we've got folks from all over the globe here with us tonight. I know we have people from uh, Brisbane in the U uh, Australia. We have... Uh, a team in Oregon, I believe, in the States, and New Zealand. Some teams in New Zealand as well, which is great. That's the great thing about these online quizzes. You can be from anywhere in the world. I am available on the uh, live chat on YouTube if you need to contact me for any reason. 80 questions we have for you tonight. Uh, we're going to split that up into four rounds of 20. We'll take a five minute break after every 20 questions, allowing you to run to the bathrooms, top up your drinks, or whatever it is you need to do. And we have the results then, the unofficial results, we call them at the very end. Uh, what we tend to do is we have a report that comes to us after the quiz, which lets us know if any teams have dropped off or lost signal or whatever, and it, it puts the points together. So whatever you had before the game or your disconnection, and whatever you got after it. So we'll have the official results. Those you can find on our Facebook page. All you need to do is search for John O'Connor Smartphone Quiz Host. That's the name of the Facebook page. I'll be posting all of tonight's scores on that about 10 minutes after the quiz. So the types of questions you're going to come across tonight will be multiple choice. Three options or four options. You'll just select whichever color uh, it is we will see that when it happens we will have first letter of your answer is a very popular one so if i said to you what is the capital of france all you'll need to type is the letter p no need to spell out the word paris okay this quiz rewards you more points the faster you answer so that's why we decided first letter of your answer is a, the best way uh, to give you more points okay so keep in, keep that in mind first letter of your answer no need to spell out the full thing if it's a digit answer or requires a number no need to spell the number just use the uh, digits and hit send we're going to have some picture questions we're going to have some uh, revealing picture questions where we will slowly reveal parts of the question it could be uh, who is this or what type of chocolate bar is this whatever it is again first letter of your answer Big numbers here tonight, which is great again. Shows that there's a lot of support and a lot of help coming in for these people with regards to the uh, Port Law GAA and Camogie Club. A lot of love out there. Also, if you do enjoy this quiz, uh, you'd be welcome to, to, uh, to join more of them. We have a regular one here every Thursday night. Um, it's five euros per person playing, and we have a cash prize at the end of that quiz. So if you do enjoy it, keep us in mind. Uh, this is a YouTube channel. It's not going anywhere. So if you consider subscribing, that'd be great Hit that button and hit the bell for notifications. So anytime we go live You'll be notified that there's a quiz happening and you can join in or you can just watch whichever suits We got some great prizes tonight as well for the winner. We got an Easter egg hamper uh, some wine with that as well we got a prize for second and for third place as well with some more wines and chocolates and all that goody stuff. So you want to be in the top three tonight. We hope you are. Just look at some of these team names and funny ones coming in here. We're going to be mentioning a few of those as the night goes along as well. I'll have a scoreboard of the top five teams on my screen here. Your scores will be on the bottom right hand corner of the app in which you're using. Make sure you're in a good Wi-Fi spot as well. We don't want you dropping out.
we're going to begin in about two and a half minutes and uh, if there's anyone that wants to join in uh, midway through that's no problem as well we can do that incidentally we have more quizzes coming up as well another GAA club tomorrow night uh, that's from eight o'clock the uh, if you want to join in that one the directions on how to do that will always be in the video description on YouTube our channel and then, as I said, we have our weekly guaranteed Thursday night quiz. Last week's winners, or actually last night's winners, took away, I think it was about 86 euros. Uh, prize money, which was pretty, pretty good for a Thursday evening. Again, if anybody's having uh, problems with the app, uh, just close down the app completely. Open it again, enter the pin that you were given, and you should be okay. Okay, so close down the app, kill it in the background if you can. Reopen the app, enter the pin, and we should be good. We'll give it a couple of more minutes in case there's anyone else having problems connecting. So close the app, kill it from the background as well, so don't just have it in the background. And then reopen the app, Enter the pin you were supplied with, and we should be good to go. Only do that if you're having connection problems, if you're sitting there waiting. Do so for another couple of minutes, we'll be ready to go. So the advice we have at the moment is to kill the app and open it if you're having connection problems. Enter the pin. We should be good to go. And perhaps when we start the game, the app will refresh itself as well. So we're going to begin here and uh, hopefully you should sort out your connection issues as we go along. So the very best to look to you all tonight. Hopefully you'll enjoy tonight's quiz. Should be a bit of fun. A few easy ones, a few tricky ones as well. Let's see how we go. It looks like we have about 127 connected players. Let's begin. Here we go. Okay, question number one. First letter of your answer, I believe it to be. It's an actually a numerical answer. What's half of 72? Using digits, what's half of 72? Lock in those answers. Click send. Keep an eye on the countdown on your left-hand side here. It is uh, 30 seconds per question. You don't want it to get below 10 or even 8 seconds to allow for the time delay and lag over the internet. So lock those answers in as quick as you can. You're going to get most points. Don't forget for faster answers. Correct answer. Answer. I'll be good. Yes. 
36 is the answer. 99 of you answered correctly. Are we good? Let's have a look. As I said, I have the top five on the scoreboard here. All the rest of you have your own scores on the bottom right. First letter again. Here we go. Friday night and the lights are low is a line from what ABBA hit. All I need is the first letter of your answer. Friday night and the lights are low. That's a line from what ABBA hit. First letter of your answer is all we need. Okay, 101 have answered. A couple of teams are spelling out the answer. There's no need, folks. Please don't spell out the full answer. You're costing yourself points. You'll see here the one that had 72 correct answers. They will have earned more points than the team that typed out the full answer. First letter is all we need. I will remind you a couple of more times. Okay, so Federators in the lead, uh, LBW in second, Burr in third, Banjo fourth, and Alec 19. Here's question three. Again, first letter of your answer. That's all we need. The chief pig in Animal Farm is named after which French emperor? First letter of your answer, folks. Correct answer here, it is N. Napoleon, 81 of you answered correctly. I think we're getting the hang of it. Here we go. Question number four. This time it's multiple choice. Select the option you think is the correct answer. Water is our world is a slogan for which international governing body? Is it FIBA, FINA, FIFA? Eighty-nine correct answers with Fina. Okay, question number five. First letter of your answer. What grape juice and vodka cocktail is named after a racing dog? First letter of your answer. So the grape juice and vodka cocktail is named after a racing dog. What type of dog is it? Correct answer, it is Greyhound. They are the racing ones. Okay, correct answer. Well done to you guys. Uh, let's have a look at question six. It's the first letter of your answer. Once again, here we go. What form of transport is the Stansted Express? First letter of your answer. Let's take a look at some of these answers. Some said bus, a few different ones there. It is T, trains. Okay, question uh, seven, multiple choice. 
Which of these characters is voiced by James Corden in a 2018 film? Is it Peter Rabbit, Roger Rabbit, Thumper, Bugs Bunny? The faster you answer, the more points you earn. One hundred and three correct answers. But Peter Rabbit is the correct answer. Top five staying as they are. Harley Quinn's is back in the game. Here's question eight. First letter of your answer. First letter, first name. Which Rat Pack member founded Reprise Records in 1960? I'm looking for first letter, first name. So which Rat Pack member founded Reprise the Records label in 1960? Correct answer, first letter, first name. F is the answer. Frank Sinatra. Okay, question nine, first letter of your answer. Whose logo is this? Take a look at the picture. First letter of your answer, that's all we need. Please don't spell the whole thing. You're losing points. First letter is all we need. Whose logo is this? Correct answer, it is D, Domino's Pizza. 116 answering correctly. Fenner's, Fenner back in the lead. Here's question 10, multiple choice. The Dirty Harry Cobb films are set in what US city? Is it San Francisco, New York, Detroit? The Dirty Harry Cobb films are set in what US city? San Francisco, New York, Detroit. Seventy correct answers with San Francisco. Box quiz moving into fifth place here. Five players just hit a dancer streak of three correct answers in a row. Question 11, first letter of your answer. The door of 10 Downing Street is reportedly made from what ally? First letter of your answer. The door of 10 Downing Street is reportedly made from what ally? Okay, correct answer, it is S for steel. 32 correct answers. That changes a lot at the top of the scoreboard. Did you get it right? Here's question 12, multiple choice. An arrangement based on mutual trust rather than a formal contract is known as what type of agreement? Is it gentlemen's, noblemen's, chairman's?
115 correct answers with gentlemen's agreement. Well done. Okay, question 13 is multiple choice. In legend, St. George is said to have slain a ferocious dragon in what modern day country? Libya, Bhutan, Wales. Okay, um, Libby is what we have here. This might be one for me to recheck later on, for sure. That's very, very... Uh, Federators are happy with their answer. We'll double check that on the halftime break. Multiple choice in the meantime. The Beano character, Minnie the Minx, is permanently how old? 11, 9, 13, 10. Thirty-three correct answers with thirteen. Okay, question fifteen. First letter of your answer. What shape is the center of a star of David? First letter of your answer. What shape is the center of the star of David? Just the first letter. Thank you. Okay, correct answer. It is H hexagonal. That's the correct answer. Federators are back in the lead. That'll be W third. Crunchy time in fifth. Just to name a few. Question 16. The band Wet Wet Wets from what country of the UK? First letter of your answer. The band Wet 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 is from what country of the UK? Correct answer here, it is S for Scotland. 82 correct answers. Submit it. L and BW into second place. Box quiz. Shown their face in fifth place. Question 17, first letter. What German sportswear company makes NMD footwear? First letter of your answer. What German sportswear company makes NMD footwear? Correct answers. Let's have a look at them. It is A. Adidas. 67 correct answers. Okay, some movers and some shakers now in the top five. It is question 18. Multiple choice. Scientology was founded as a religion in what century? The 21st, the 20th or the 19th? Scientology was founded as a religion in what century? No, 
孩。77, if you answered correctly, with uh, 20th century. Okay, question 19, first letter. First letter, first name. In 1974, who became the first U.S. president to resign? I'm looking for first letter, first name, as usual, folks. In 1974, who became the first U.S. president to resign? Great answer, it is R for Richard Nixon. 42 of you answering correctly. Okay, so question 20. Last one before we take a five minute break is this one. What Ger German sports car company makes the Boxster spider? First letter of your answer. What German sports car company makes the Boxster? One hundred and twenty answers locked in. Correct answer. It is P for Porsche. Correct answer. Sixty-one of you answered correctly. Well done. Let's take a look at the scoreboard. So after round one, the Fenerators are in the lead. We're going to take a five-minute break, folks. So if you want to top up some drinks or run to the bathroom, now is a good time. We're back soon with the questions to round two. Your weddings. Established in 2017, we are Waterford's largest wedding supplier. Dacia Weddings is a family run business. We pride ourselves on providing the highest quality services for your wedding. for weddings of all sizes and have a large range of services. We offer selfie mirrors, LED dance floors, ceremony decor, mood lighting and DJs for your big day. Dacia Weddings, making your wedding special.
back shortly, folks, with the questions to round two next. The next 20 questions. Okay, I think you're getting the uh, grasp of it now with first letter of your answer, multiple choice. And we have some picture questions coming up as well. Okay, so folks, we're going to continue. Best of luck. Here we go. First letter of your answer. That's all we need. Which American astronaut returned to space aged 77? First letter, first name. Correct answer here, it is J. John Glenn is the correct answer. Okay, question 22, multiple choice on this one. If something is described as furred, what is it? Is it lukewarm, hot or cold? Forty-two correct answers with hot. Well done. Uh, Convict is nineteen. He's in fourth place. It is multiple choice, folks. Question twenty-three. In the film, there's something about Mary, which British comedian played Tucker? Ricky Gervais, Andy Lizard. Is it Lee Evans? Seventy-eight correct answers with Lee Evans. Rusty and Co. back in the game with an answer streak of three. Here's question twenty-four. Multiple choice. Love the one you're with and dance with my father are tracks by which of these U.S. soul singers? Marvin Gaye, Luther Vandross, James Brown. Eighty-eight correct answers with Luther and Ross is the correct answer. Top five staying as they are. Snowy Seal, ninety-eight, back in the game, and answer streak of three in a row. First letter, question twenty-five. What is the name of this chocolate bar? Okay, first letter of your answer is going to be slowly revealed and it's slightly distorted as well. When you know the answer, give me the first letter. What's the name of this chocolate bar? Correct answer, it is B. Boost. 106 correct answers. Excellent. Uh, Duckster into fourth, and Benjo is in fifth. Here's question 26. Something that makes a good situation even better is the icing on the what? First letter of your answer. Something that makes a good situation even better is the icing on the what? First letter.
124 answering this. Someone went with B. Correct answer. Icing on the cake. 123 correct answers. Okay, question 27 is multiple choice. In the film Dr. No, what was Bond's reply when Sylvia Trench asked his name? Was it James? James Bond? Or Bond? James Bond? One hundred and fourteen correct answers with Bond, James Bond. Our leaders, Fenerators, they're on an answer streak of sixteen right now. At the moment, sixteen correct answers in a row. Multiple choice. Question twenty-eight. What type of creature is a leaf miner? Is it monkey, caterpillar, squirrel? One hundred and forty correct answers with caterpillars. Correct answer. Well done. Okay, question twenty-nine. First letter of your answer. What website features uh, block access to certain articles unless a fee is paid? First letter of your answer. What website feature blocks access to certain articles unless a fee is paid? Correct answer, it is P for paywall. 29 of you answered that correctly. That's made some changes. Quiz Queen have just gone into fourth place. Duxer is in fifth. The Raiders are still in the lead. Here's question 30. First letter of your answer. Bedsitter was the follow-up hit single to what soft cell number one? First letter of your answer. Bedsitter was the follow-up hit single to what soft cell number one? Okay, let's have a look. 108 of you locked in the answers. Make sure you put some answer in. I guess could get you the points. Well, if you only knew one song from South Cell, it would have to be their big one, Tainted Love. Chris Green moving up with that answer. And Kelly Zay into fifth place. Here's question 31, which is multiple choice. Vietnam is the world's largest exporter of what common condiment? Is it black pepper or sea salt? So, Vietnam's the world's largest export of what common condiment? Is it black pepper, sea salt? Ninety-two correct answers with black pepper is the correct answer here. Thirty-three, we said salt. Better now on a 20 answer streak. Okay, question 32, first letter of your answer. Complete the saying, the spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is... First letter of your answer, complete the saying, the spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is... First letter.
Okay, let's have a look at your answers. Spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is, someone said dead, is weak. 68 correct answers. Weak. Lockdown 2020, back with an answer streak of three. Here's question 33, multiple choice. Which American was the first golfer to win all four majors? First letter, first name. No, actually it's multiple choice. Tom Watson, Arnold Palmer, or Gene Sarazen. Multiple choice. Correct answer, it is Jean. Let's have a look. So, leader Svenner had that right and quiz queen in the top five. Among others, here's question 34. In 95, Steve Fawcett made his first solo balloon flight across what ocean? All I need is the first letter of that ocean. Okay, let's have a look at your answers. It is P for Pacific, 40 of you answering correctly. Top three teams didn't get this one correct. Dugstar moved up. Okay, uh, here we go. Question 35 in astronomy. What are Castor and Pollux? First letter of your answer. What are they? Correct answer, it is S for stars, 69 correct answers. Okay, question 36, multiple choice. In what decade was the Irish Free State established? Was it the 40s, the 10s, the 20s, the 30s? Eighty-three correct answers with the twenties. Okay, question thirty-seven. First letter of your answer. What was the first country to elect a female prime minister? First letter of your answer. What was the first country to elect a female prime minister? Okay, first letter of your answer. It is Sri Lanka. Only 10 correct answers. Top three, not a part of that. Okay, first letter of your answer. How Lisa got her, got Marge back in an episode of what TV show? How Lisa got her Marge back is an episode of what TV show? First letter of the obvious answer, okay?
Correct answer is S here, of course, for Simpsons. There will never be the answer to these quizzes. 120 of you answered nicely. Who's up, Elise? Uh, make it a comeback with three in a row. Multiple choice. Question 39. What part of an egg is mixed with sugar to make uh, meringue? Is it the yolk or the white? Correct answer is white, 117. Seven of you thought it was the yolk. Okay, let's uh, do one more before we take our half-time five-minute break. Multiple choice. The rock movement, Britpop, is most associated with what decade? The noughties, the 80s, the 90s. Uh, 80 of you answered correctly from the 90s, is the correct? 36 of you thought it was the 80s. Let's have a look at the scoreboard, so at the halftime way. Uh, Fenner Raiders uh, in the lead. They've been there for quite a while. LBW, second place. Colic 19 is third. Quiz Queens in fourth. And Kieran Laffey, 68, is in fifth. Have a look at your scores on the bottom right. See what you need to do to catch these leaders. I'll see you in five minutes or so.
Okay, so folks, if you're all set and ready, we're going to give you the next 20 question. Hope you're enjoying things and that your scores are not too far behind these top five teams. We're only halfway through the quiz, folks. So don't lose faith. There is plenty of time to catch. Right on, we continue then, folks, with the questions. Here we go. Question 41. First letter. The red nucleus is a structure on what organ in the body? The red nucleus, it's a structure on what organ in the body? First letter of your answer. Correct answer here, it is the brain. How many had it? 31 of you answered correctly. Uh, third, sorry, fourth and fifth place. Not part of the teams that had this correct. Here's question 42. Whose flag is this? All I need is the first letter of your answer. Whose flag is this? First letter of your answer. Okay, correct answer, it is C for Cameroon. How many had it right? Had we any C's? We'll check that at the end, folks. We will check that C. Anyone had C will get points for that, so don't worry about it. Multiple choice, here we go. A common drink toast is, here's mud in what? Your nose, your eye, your ear. Correct answer, it is your eye. Top five answering correctly. Okay, here's uh, question 44. Which Disney character is this? I need the first set of your answer. Which Disney character is this? Correct answer, it is B. That is the correct answer. 90 of you answered correctly. Sanitizer's highest climber. Multiple choice on this one. Uh, Louisiana gumbo can be described as what type of food? Is it stir fry, meatloaf, or stew? Louisiana gumbo. It is a stew, of course. 87 of you answered correctly. Locked Cats 2 is back in the game. Multiple choice. In 2017, a special edition of what book was released that can only be read when the pages are burnt? Is it Frankenstein, Fahrenheit, Fahrenheit 451, or is it Fifty Shades of Grey?
Correct answer, it is Fahrenheit 451 is what uh, paper burns at. Okay, question 47, first letter perhaps. Whose logo is this? Take a look at the picture and give me the first letter of your answer. One hundred and twenty-two answers locked in. P for Pringles. How many have you had it right? One hundred and eighteen correct answers. Okay, question forty-eight is multiple choice. What was unusual about George, or sorry, Gregory the Seventh, uh, when he became Pope in ten seventy-three? Was it because he was twelve, or he was a lamb, or he wasn't an ordained priest? Okay, 70 correct answers. He wasn't an ordained priest is the correct answer. Okay, Dots is back in the game and Fenner still in the lead. Here's question 49. Which member of the Simpsons family loves donuts, bacon and beer? First letter of your answer. Correct answer, it is H. Homer Simpson. 120 correct answers. Question 50 now. First letter. Whose last concert with the Supremes was at the Frontier Hotel in Vegas? I need the first letter, first name, please. Whose last concert with the Supremes was at the Frontier Hotel in Vegas? First letter, first name. First letter of your answer, it is D for Diana Ross. Excellent stuff. All right, question 51. What adjective links diggy birds and piggies in nursery rhymes? First letter of your answer. Okay, correct answer, it is. Little, 61 of you answered this correctly. Okay, question 52, multiple choice. Which of the Monty Python team wrote the song Always Look on the Bright Side of Life? Was it John Cleese, Michael Palin, Eric Idle?
70 correct answers. Very good. Well, correct answer. Well done. Question 53 is also multiple choice here. Which of these animals is classed as a mega bat? Is it flying squirrel, flying uh, lemur, or is it the flying fox? One correct answers. Flying Fox is the correct answer. Collins making a comeback with three in a row. Here is question 54. Whose logo is it this time? First letter of your answer. Whose logo is this? First letter of your answer. So it is P for Papa John's 75 of you answering correctly. Dogs in lockdown, highest answer streak of 12. Multiple choice here. Which of these is a piece of surfing equipment? Is it a blues board, bebop board or boogie board? Correct answer, 115 with the boogie board. Okay, question 56. First letter of your answer. Unless it's a numbers one. In a full English breakfast, what can be fried or scrambled? First letter of your answer. Speed gets you most points, for folks. So remember, the faster you answer, the more points you get. Correct answer here. It is eggs. Have a look. 118 of you answered correctly. Country Boy 84 is making a comeback with three in a row. Here's question 57. What store's garden furniture is named after a Scandinavian island? First letter of your answer. Correct answer here it is. IKEA. 88 answered correctly. The Gunners is back with an answer trick of three. Here's question 58 now with multiple choice. What would you be most likely to do if you had a tab or is it? Beat it, treat it, eat it. Those are the options.
81 correct answers with beat it. All right, question 59. Here it is. Which South Park character was known for making chocolate salty balls? First letter of your answer, folks. Which South Park character was known for making chocolate salty balls? Correct answer here, it is Chef, 82 of you answering correctly, Chef. The fish is, is the highest climber, Fenner still in the lead, LBW seconds. Here's question 60, multiple choice. Short break after this one, what's the name of this movie? Right, it's disguised, it's either The Born Identity or Taken, which one do you think? on this uh, distorted picture. What's the name of the movie? The Born Identity or Taken? Correct answer, it is Taken. 85 of you worked it out beautifully. Right, we're going to take a short break back. This is the final break, and we're back for the final 20 questions straight after that.
Okay, so folks, we're back shortly with the questions to the fourth and final round. 20 questions remain. Can anybody catch the Fenner Raiders with a nice healthy lead in first place? Anything can happen. 20 questions remain, folks. Best of luck. Here we go. Question 61. First letter. What football club left Anfield in 1891 after a row over rent? First letter of your answer. So what football club left Anfield in 1891 after a row over rent? Correct answer here, it is. Everton is the correct answer. 84 of you answered correctly, it is Everton. Okay, it is question 62, and this is multiple choice. Which chocolate bar is this? Is it Toffee Crisp? Is it Double Decker? Or is it Mars? It's been slowly revealed here. Four options, folks. Which one do you think it is? Toffee Crisp is the correct answer here. Well done. Okay, first letter of your answer on this one. The NBA is the main North American league in what sport? I need the first letter of that sport. The NBA is the main North American league in what sport? Correct answer, it is basketball, 117 correct answers. Okay, uh, question 64, as follows. What score is the outer bull worth in darts? Using digits here, folks. What score is the outer bull worth in darts? Correct answer here, it is 25, 96 correct answers. Okay, question 65. How many hoops are used in a game of croquet? Using digits. Okay, correct answer. Here it is. 635 correct answers. Leaders, not part of that. Kelly's A's back with an answer streak of three. Here's question 66. How many players are there in a curling team? Now that's not hurling, that's curling. How many players are there in a curling team?
correct answer here it is four 48 correct answers okay here's question 67 in which country was Adolf Hitler born first letter of your answer what country what is Hitler born Correct answer here, it is A. Austria is the correct answer. Question 68, first letter of your answer. Or it's actually digits, okay? In what year did the Battle of Hastings take place? Digit answers. Let's take a look at your answers. Here we go. Mm -hmm. So many different ones here. Correct answer. 1066. 87 correct answers. Question 69. Here we go. Henry, Henry VIII died in which year? Four digit answer. One hundred and fifteen of you locked in those answers. The answer we're looking for is coming up. Any minute now. Here we go. There's so many different answers. It's trying to put all of your answers up on the screen. It is 1547. 24 of you answered correctly. Top two didn't get this one correct. Here's question 70. <clears throat> How many pairs of legs do all insects have? How many pairs of legs do all insects have? Digits, please. Thank you. Three pairs. Not too many answers coming in for that one. Question 71. First letter of your answer, what is a young penguin called? First letter of your answer, what is a young penguin called?
correct answer it is chick 37 of you answered correctly just going to give you a moment some of those teams have gotten uh, they say kicked out so do uh, do your best we'll hang on just a moment I'll let you get you uh, organized to get connected back in again so folks the Kahoot servers must be fairly busy tonight. You are connected to their servers. Nothing to connect with me here at all. We're all just connected to the internet. We're going to give you a moment to uh, refresh your devices if you need to. Close down the app and come back in again. Your points will be added to your previous uh, questions at the end. Your app won't reflect that. But however, the reports at the end of the quiz, which I'll be posting up on Facebook, will tell us who are the uh, true winners and who had the most points. We're going to refresh um, the page here and see if that helps any of you reconnect up. So hopefully we're back in folks. Um, let's continue um, by changing the slide here. It does refresh um, the white thing on the bottom does a refresh on your devices here so hopefully you're back in here's the question someone with bad intentions is said to be a fox in the what greenhouse penthouse henhouse let's see how many answers we get in for this getting some numbers back in 70 answers so far it's not all of you 62 of the you answered with hen house how are you getting on with login back in folks we haven't seen this issue all month so this is brand new to me Just give it a moment folks and we'll see what we can do to get you all back in the game as i said we haven't come across any issues as much uh, as you are tonight we're going to hold on a few minutes folks to let you get connected as i said if you're worried about your position don't worry your total scores will be added in the report at the end of the quiz Okay, so a uh, quick update. Let's see how many of you are back in the game. So, and uh, if we can't get you all back in, we'll play one more question and we'll call it a day. And what we'll do is uh, we'll adjust the points 
were the ones that we made mistakes on earlier on. After that, folks, all I do is write questions and host it. It's up to the internet and Kahoot, the server. There's no more I can do about it. So let's see how we get on. I can't tell until I play a question to see how many of you are connected. If uh, the answers are not as high as I'd like, we'll wrap things up and uh, make some adjustments on the points. And apologize. As I said, all I do is write questions and host. It's technology after that, folks. So apologies for that. Here is what could be the last question. What type of animal is this? First letter of your answer. If we don't get the high numbers I'm expecting, this is the last question. Question 72. Right, we're only getting about half of the answers in. Let us know if you haven't been able to play that question on the live chat. And we'll decide then what we need to do. 63 of you tells me about half of you were able to. Let us know in the chat if you weren't able to play that. Uh, we got about 90% of the way with through tonight's quiz. We can see that people are having connections uh, with the issue with connecting up. So, that is the end of our quiz, folks. We're going to tot up the scores at the very end here. And we're going to announce the winners. I'll be in contact then, of course, at the very end um, to give you the results. I'll be in contact with Derek to give him what we had up to this point. Again, we apologize for this. We haven't come across this and we've done about 10 of these quizzes since the lockdown happened. Uh, we've had connection issues. As I said, I'm at the mercy of the uh, Kahoot servers and internet and all that stuff. As I said, my job is to just write questions and host it. So again, I apologize for that. Uh, do pop over to the Facebook page, um, John O'Connor, smartphone quiz host. In about 15, 20 minutes, we're gonna have the results up to this point here, okay? And we're gonna be adding any of the points you had before you crashed out to when you reconnect it up and we'll consider what we need to do then and we'll see who's going to win tonight's prizes but for now that's all we can do thank you for playing along hope you've enjoyed it up to the point where things got a bit uh, messy we know that a lot of hosts are using the softwares and live streaming at the moment due to the lockdown it might be overwhelming in the servers over at kahoot i'm not making excuses for them but uh, that's all we can do on this end uh, we'll talk to you on Facebook pretty soon, guys. Thanks very much. We'll have the results from tonight's quiz very, very soon.